Our next problem, we have ammonium phosphate and sodium hydroxide. All right, ammonium phosphate, that's an ammonium salt. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So this ammonium hydroxide, excuse me, ammonium phosphate, is going to react with sodium hydroxide to do what? This is a ammonium salt plus a strong base. This is going to make ammonia gas plus water plus a salt. I always put a question mark there, plus a salt. Okay, now to figure out exactly what it's going to look like. Keep in mind that ammonium compounds are all soluble and will split up, so it's going to be actually NH4 ions in solution and phosphate ions in solution. There's going to be sodium ions and then there's going to be hydroxide ions. We know for sure it's going to make the ammonium, the ammonia gas, and the water plus a salt. Now the salt would have to be the leftover pieces, which would mean it made up of the sodium and the phosphate. All right. Now would sodium phosphate form a solid? No. Sodium is a group one. So I would just still have sodium ions and I would have phosphate ions. So since it doesn't form an insoluble compound, it stays as ions, which means that they are spectators because this phosphate shows up on both sides. This sodium shows up on both sides. I am left with a net ionic equation which is just the ammonium ion plus hydroxide react to make ammonia gas plus water. And that's it. 